Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Back to Beta server where a bunch of people are just spamming in chat. <laughs> Look at this. Look at all of this. Oh my god, it just keeps going. This is just spam, <laughs> spam, spam, spam. Oh my god, I was just uh, using a camera account to uh, to get that B-roll footage you guys just saw. Trying something different, trying to be a little more, uh, I don't know, artistic, creative interesting make my videos a little more interesting to look at i don't know um but yeah welcome back to the server uh we have been getting up to quite a bit of stuff on the server which uh yeah you guys can see sort of here some things you probably haven't seen um now you're probably expecting me to talk about the uh king of the ladder which we've been working on for the past two episodes um i don't really have a whole lot of inspiration um, hitting me for that mini game right now, so I'm gonna put it on hold. And uh, really, my inspiration's been lying a little bit with this uh, with this village here. I'm gonna sleep real quick because I don't really trust anyone else to to sleep. Bit of spoilers for what you're about to see. But yeah, a lot of what I've wanted to work on has actually been in this village area. I've been wanting to make a lot of progress on um, sort of expanding this place and uh, yeah, making it feel a lot more expansive and interesting. Um, and yeah, the first thing I have to show you oops, died. The first thing I have to show you is, I get, well, I'll show you an order of what I kind of have built. Um, and yeah, it starts with these kind of shops we built here. I, I don't think I've shown these off yet. At least I hope not. Um, I have this soup shop here. Um, now this is kind of designed a little bit after what I did in the storage area and uh, sort of farming area uh, where I had that little soup bowl where like the, the mushroom farm kind of feeds into the soup bowl. So that's kind of what this is based on. It's meant to be a little soup shop. I don't think I've really stocked any of these up yet, but I think I will just for, uh, for you know, immersion of this town. And uh, yeah, these signs I'll make pretty up in that. So yeah, it's my little, little soup shop. It's meant to be like, I feel like there's places you go around the world where they have like taco stands, you know, and it's like shaped like a taco. Um, that was kind of what I was thinking with this. Um, and then the next build I did was the soul sand shop, which again doesn't really sell soul sand It's not too interesting. It's just kind of filling the space, but I wanted some variation You know, we're gonna add the the colors and, and things like that. So yeah Step on this pressure plate and goes through. I don't know why I added a bit of redstone functionality I just thought why not? Um, and yeah, it's got a little back part here a little till yeah, nothing, nothing too interesting, I'm not going to lie. Uh, just, you know, filling the space a little bit with these shops. And the last of the shops was this pottery shop here. Um, and yeah, this, I kind of wanted it to look a little bit pot-shaped, you know? Um, yeah. But yeah, again, nothing too interesting, nothing too crazy. It's just to fill the space, um, you know, fill the space with things that might, you know, be sold in a, in a, in a shopping area like this. Uh, now the next build I worked on and this one's pretty interesting. I really like this one. This one's a like an artist's house um, Is was the idea I was kind of working with here and uh, yeah, it's, it's almost got like a beach villa kind of vibe to it in my opinion um, Yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of like it uh, And I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. I think the inside is quite cool um, It's got this like, you know little walk down staircase here to get to the a bit more of the town um, I made this little rocky pool. This water was like a natural water um, water pool that was here. Um, so I decided to kind of pimp it up. I, it was originally going to be like a, a, a communal well, but I thought, nah, I, I kind of want it just to be like a little rocky rocky pool in the end. But yeah, if we go up these stairs here, um, you'll see there's like a bit of a, re uh, a veranda here, which is cool, or like a balcony, I guess, and uh, a back door there. But we'll go through the front door. Anyways, you come through the front door, and yeah, it's got a lot of, obviously, paintings on the walls um, here, and I kind of imagine that the um, the artist, you know, he paints them here, and he sometimes sells them from his house, but I also want to build, like, maybe, yeah, like an art shop here, like a studio here, where he would, like, take his art pieces and, and put them in, like, a store there and actually sell them, um, because a lot, of, uh, a lot of the houses around here have artwork in them. Um, but yeah, so he's got all sorts of paintings here, which is cool. And he's got his little chair with his uh, with his easel, and then he's like current artwork here. And he's got a nice big open kind of window here to get inspiration from all the outside world, all the hustle and bustle of uh, of things going on outside in his view. He's got a very nice view, if I'm honest. So uh, yeah, except for that, we're gonna change that at some point. <laughs> um, and yeah, oh, one of the things I was very happy about. So when I was building this house, I knew I knew for a fact I wanted it to be like an artist house. And uh, I immediately thought of this painting and I thought, how can I make the frame um, match this? So if you kind of look at this and 
I don't know, squint a little bit, you can kind of tell that this frame is, is it, it's meant to be that, you know, like I, I can imagine the sun sort of setting over out here and, uh, and that being put in there. You can even kind of see that the four pixels here kind of look like the trees there as well. The only thing missing is whatever that is, which I'm pretty sure is a rabbit in the actual, uh, in the actual painting, but we don't have a rabbit in the game. What are these blokes talking about? I wish you could turn off chat. <laughs> um, but yeah, because he's an artist, he's like, I don't know, he doesn't really care about, he, he really just cares about his art, you know, he doesn't really care about living comfortably or anything like that, he just cares about where he can uh, have his art. So yeah, he's got a bed here and then, you know, his little cooking area here, nothing nothing too fancy down there, he's just got, you know, bulk of his area where, you know, someone else might use this as a bedroom or something like that, he's using it for his art, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, that was the first house I worked on. I'm pretty happy with this one. And uh, yeah, this sort of set the tone for um, the rest of the houses that I've started to put up. And over time, I've started getting a bit more comfortable with this style of building. Like originally, like building this house, for example, I was feeling very uncomfortable, um, especially with all the awkward shapes. It's not very, you know, symmetrical or whatever. Um, but by the by, this last house here, um, I'm, I'm starting to get really into the groove of it, which is cool. But before I show you these houses, which again are all pretty similar, um, I also have a rug store here. And yeah, similar to the, um, the artist having a lot of paintings and every house kind of having a painting, a lot of houses have rugs. Um, I like to think these uh, kind of impoverished houses, uh, you know, they they don't know how to spend their money too well, so they, you know, they always have rugs, they always have paintings, um, so that when people visit, you know, it feels like they're richer than they are. Um, you know, slightly uneducated folk, you could say. But yeah, it's got a little rug store here, some rugs hanging here, which I like, and uh, yeah, got a little table and chairs here for the, uh, for the guy who's selling them, and uh, yeah, nothing in the chests. Uh, as of yet, but yeah, kind of cool. I feel like, um, I don't know, in my mind, if you ever go to like a, like a, a market of some kind, um, they, if there's any kind of rug stores or something like that, they're always like low ceilings like this. I don't know. To me, this just feels like a rug store or like a place that would sell rugs is like a low ceiling place. So that's kind of why it's like that. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, now onto these houses. These are all very uh, similar. They've got a lot of kind of detail in them, and I have a very clear kind of way um, I like to go about building them. Uh, the first thing I do is kind of make an outline, as you can see there, there's a bit of an outline. And then I like to detail up the walls, so I kind of have the... Uh, um, put the soul sand in, the dirt, and the wood as like kind of detailing to break it up a bit, and the sand as well. And then I like to do the roof. Um, which I do a lot of with slabs and stairs. Unfortunately, there's not different colored, you know, stairs and slabs that I can really work with here. So a lot of it is just the samey same wood. Um, and then I go around the sort of the outside and decorate it a bit with leaves and, and trap doors and things like that. And then I do the interiors. Now this interior is pretty small, so not too interesting. We do have forever lit furnaces, um, which is cool. And uh, yeah, that's sort of the first one there. Um, this next one over here, this one's pretty cool. So this, this is a clump of four, wait, no, this is a clump of one, two, three, four, five houses, I think. Um, so there's one, two, three, and then one at the back, and then one here. So there's like five houses, which is cool. And I like to think these guys are all very tight knit, you know, they all, they all like, like to hang out with each other and they're all friendly, you know. Anyway, you sort of come in here, this is a nice little uh, little interior in here. He's got a back door to a little patio area which they could play, you know, checkers with on this board here. I like to think this house and this house, like the, the people that live there are like best friends. Um, I really like these cramped walkways here. Um, I, yeah, the aesthetic I'm going for is like, you know, obviously quite impoverished and quite, uh, yeah, I don't know, cramped living. Although this one is a bit of a nicer nicer house, but it is like completely out of the view, you know, like it's, a, it's got no windows or anything like that. Yeah. It's, that's why it's a, it gets to be a little bit bigger, but, um, cause you're, you're sacrificing on location a, a little bit, I guess. And yeah, even more kind of cramped corridors here, which is cool. Um, this house is, um, a bit smaller, bit of a awkward, awkward, uh, shape, but it is, you know, on the main path. So it's a bit more convenient. Um, and then this house here, is uh, same thing, a bit smaller, but it's on the main path, so it's a bit convenient. And there's a back door here, which leads out here to the other house. And uh, yeah, so those are all those houses, and I really like how all of these came out. They're all very detailed, like a lot more detailed than I'm used to. Why is there a missing block here? 
um, a lot more detailed than I'm kind of used to. Um, but I'm starting to get the hang of uh, how to do how to build in this style, which I'm I'm really happy with. And uh, yeah, we've got this is the latest edition I've had, and this is the first of a clump of sort of I think five or six houses here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven houses even, um, which are going to go here. Now the plan I have for this here like this clump and then I want to have another clump here another clump here and basically every every time I build some houses it's going to be clumps of houses if that makes sense and uh, every time I build one I want to have um, like a colorful house that sort of stands out in the middle it, I mean it doesn't have to be in the middle but just within a clump there's going to be you know a colorful house because firstly that'll give me a chance to kind of um, build in a slightly different style or in a slightly different palette. Oh my god, what are they doing? <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, it'll help me build in like a slightly different palette, a slightly different style, which will be cool. And um, I recently went to Colombia, uh, where I saw a bunch of like kind of, yeah, stacked on stacked houses, you know, like high density living, um, similar to this kind of vibe. Um, and yeah, every so often you'd, there was just a house that was just completely colorful out of nowhere. Um, so yeah, keeping that in mind, I want to try and recreate that kind of feeling here. Um, but yeah, let me show you the interior of this house. I actually quite like the interior of this house. We've got a, uh, a, uh, pistoned in, uh, trapdoor here. If you move, it'll probably break. Um, and yeah, if we go inside, Nice little interior here. It's actually not very lit up. I might put a torch somewhere. Uh, let's put one there, I think. Or maybe we can put one over the furnace. I think that's nice. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, quite a nice house, actually. I really like this one. Um, we've also got a couple of um, interesting glitches here. We've got the uh, trapdoor on top of the uh, crafting table, which is cool. And then we've got this trapdoor, which has been pistoned in as well to make a nice, like, kind of, I don't know, fr uh, I don't know railing kind of thing here and then of course the uh the the carpet as well and i guess since it's night time let's have a sleep anyways this one's got a nice view for now out here um but there is as you can see going to be a coast guard going to go there so it probably won't be retained too much maybe this section but definitely not here um and then there's some boarded up windows here because um if we come out the outside you'll see that the uh that there's going to be houses that are going to come up right up in here and going to completely block this view. So for privacy reasons, it's like they've kind of boarded up their own windows in my mind. So uh, yeah, it's looking kind of cool. We've got all these little uh, little pathways through here. We'll add some uh, you know leaf detail in that through those as well, which will be cool. And the latest thing I've added is actually this walkway that I've just started. Now, I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do, whether I wanted it to be kind of this pathway here or whether I wanted it to be kind of like the uh, the boardwalk. And uh, I, I sort of asked Ryan, and he said uh, having the boardwalk would be cool, and I tend to agree. Now that it's in, I, I think I can agree with him. I think it's really cool, especially with all the kind of rough-up details, having it kind of broken in certain areas and things like that. I think it looks really good. It's, like, worn and used. Um, and, yeah, and then I've actually kind of done a best of both worlds where I've made this wharf a little bit thin. It's kind of breaking apart on the edges because people also walk sort of down here as well. Um, and yeah, I think this will look really good once all of these houses are in and uh, more of the houses are in along the uh, along the shoreline here So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to on the server recently But uh, yeah, I actually haven't been on the server a whole lot over the past kind of few weeks because I've been playing a bit of modern as well um, Obviously, I've been busy in real life, but I've also been playing a bit of modern which uh, I've actually been quite enjoying the new update uh, with like the, the tri uh, trails and tails is that is that what it is? I think it's the Trails and Tales update. Um, and yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Been playing with uh, with a few people uh, on a on a realm, and uh, yeah, it's been good. We've just been grinding it out. But yeah, that obviously means I've uh, I haven't actually been able to record as much on the uh, on the back to beta server. But I actually have been recording all of the things I've been doing uh, on on that uh, on that realm. So if you kind of want to see that, let me know in the comments because. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of footage, but I'll definitely compile it if people, uh, like, show, you know, a little bit of interest in wanting to see something like that. Um, I think it, I think it was, uh, there's a lot of fun moments and a lot of interesting things that we kind of did. So, uh, yeah, might, uh, might, might compile that at some point. But anyways, in this video, I do want to actually finish off these five houses here. And I know it's a little bit repetitive in that I've shown you basically everything I've already done. And uh, now I'm going to be like, yeah, look, I'm basically going to do the same thing again with the next five houses. But uh, I think once these are in, it'll, be a r it'll make it really obvious what kind of vibe I'm going for for this, uh, for this whole bank across here. And even pushing out further towards the Sphinx. 
Now, speaking of towards the Sphinx, our neighbor Gory, who actually lives across, you know, just out that way, across from our, uh, our base here, has actually constructed a wall that uh, sort of divides our two lands and kind of, uh, in a way, connects our two lands as well, which is really cool. The detail in this wall is is just insane. He's got the dead bushes to sort of represent our desert, and then the live bushes to represent his area. Because our areas are, are pretty much opposite in a way. Like, he's got a lot of living, you know, life, and it's all lush and amazing. Mine's very dead and a bit barren, so, yeah, it's very interesting. But, yeah, he's really done a great job building these walls. And around this area, there's actually a bunch of spawners. Don't mind that. That was uh, Whammy, I think. Whammy and... Gray? Gory? It was, uh, somebody built that, I can't remember. Point is, there's a monster spawner right down here, and there's actually two more in another close proximity. I don't really know exactly where they are. I think he put them, put the wall basically right on top of them, so that they can, as you can see here, um, bring monsters up and put them in this, basically, in this cage here. Whoops, took a screenshot. Um, yeah, and so there's skeletons in this side, and then spiders come up in this side. Doesn't look like, oh! does look like there are some there. Um, and yeah, they can kind of just build up as much as possible. It's just kind of funny to have like a, a little container full of them. Um, and you can see his base over there, really detailed. Highly recommend you check out his uh, his little tour on that in his, in his channel. Um, his side's a little less uh, interesting uh, compared to my side, I would say. He put a lot of effort into my side, but I think that's just to match the aesthetic of his wall he already sort of had going. I'm sure he's going to add some more stuff here. Um, I Yeah, I have no idea what he's going to do with all this space, but if it's as, even as a quarter as detailed as all of that, it'll be insane. So, yeah, would definitely recommend checking that out. Alright, they are done. All these builds over here have been completed and I think this gives you a really good idea uh, as to kind of the density and kind of the, I don't know, the general structure and idea that I have for this whole sort of long part here. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's one, two, three, you can see that fourth one in the back. Um, and then I also built a fifth one back there, and then this colorful one in the middle here. And all of these builds are really different shapes and sizes, and uh, yeah, they are all all had their different challenges. But they're all pretty cool, uh, and I'll uh, take you through them right now. Alright, so I'll go in order of uh, which ones I built first. The first one I built was this one here, which you saw in that little time lapse. Time lapse? I don't know, a little clip or whatever. Um, nothing too fancy, it's got a, a forever burning furnace. Um, a little table, oh, a little table, um, some artwork. Now, this one has like a very open um, part here because um, when I was in Colombia and also when I was in uh, Turkey, there were there were houses that had basically big open um, open spaces here that you could just walk out of and they would like walk on the roof and just kind of sit on the roof, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Don't know how they deal with weather, but I do remember seeing stuff like this, um, you know, in these ha houses. Some shelving here, and then just a little downstairs spot for a, um, a little bed and some bookshelves. So yeah, I quite like this one. Quite an interesting house. The next one I built was down here, so if we come down, um, this one was quite cramped, and the first one that's on the uh, the wharf, which I quite like. Um, now it's got this slither in here, which you can kind of see a bed up there. Um, and if we go through this entrance, you'll see that it's a triple bunk bed, which is pretty cool. I thought that was kind of funny, actually. Um, but yeah, I guess three people could live here if they wanted to. Um, and yeah, good utilization of the space, I guess. There's like a ladder here and a furnace there and, and things like that. So, yep, come out there. And that's what it looks like. The next one I built was sort of around the corner. So if we follow... Uh, wait, I already showed this one off, right? Yeah, yeah, this is the latest one I built. 
before I built these ones. Uh, the next one I built was this one, which is a public toilet and rest stop. Um, so this one is a bit weird. I, I feel like the rest stop part doesn't really make much sense, but a public toilet, I guess, makes sense. Um, anyway, you walk in here, and it's sort of a rest stop. Um, and then this is the toilet. Um, the reason I thought this was the toilet was because Jaren... Uh, call it out in like one of my videos when when we uh when i was showing him how to do these um the first thing he said was this is uh this is a that looks like a toilet which is kind of funny so uh yeah and the reason i kind of um started on that idea was because there was the sand that kind of was drooping here that i hadn't turned into dirt and i thought what if that was like water damage you know what if it was uh I don't know, rain had come off the roof or whatever, and I wasn't really sure how I was going to do that, um, but then turns out I sort of thought, hmm, how about, how about I make it the toilet? Um, so yeah, I had these little uh, mm, suspicious <laughs> sand here, um, but yeah, that's kind of what it is. It's a bit gross, but I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Uh, the next one I built after that was this one. Uh, this one's not insanely interesting. It's uh, it's kind of a bit more generic. Um, it's got some nice views, though. Got the, got the boat there, and... Uh, a view out to the uh, the castle there. Castle? I don't know. Whatever it's called. Um, so yeah, this one's interesting. Uh, we'll get back to this red one later. Uh, and then the last one I built out of the, the normie houses was this one. Now this one you can see is on the biggest slope of all time. Like, look at this thing. It, it starts up there. There's the front door. And then here's the, the I guess, beach door. And it is like the slopiest thing in the world, but I actually love it. This one was really like kind of challenging to do, but it was, it, yeah, I think it turned out really good. Um, so yeah, let's go through the front door, I guess. Uh, up here, you sort of come in here, and yeah, it's super, super steep. It kind of makes me think of like the Shrieking Shack. No, not the Shrieking Shack, like the Weasley's house from like Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, how it's all like just kind of on top of one another. Uh, but yeah, we've managed to fit a whole bunch of things in here. There's glowstone behind that painting, um, the bed, the crafting table, a double furnace with a chimney, and then some bookshelves down here. And you can, oh, there's actually a decent view, I guess, out here, straight to the, the mine statue, which one day will be changed. Um, and then yeah, down here is the, uh, the way out to the dock. So yeah, I really like this one. This one is probably one of my favorite houses so far. Now the last place I built was this this red brick house here. Now this one I kind of, I used the same principles I used for all of these houses, but um, turned it into sort of the red brick. So the soul sand kind of equates to the netherrack as it's like, you know, really, really harsh in the texture. Um, the brick is kind of like the wood. It's kind of, you know, um, got those lines, lines to it. And then the, the red wool is kind of like the sandstone slash the sand. Um, it needs to be like kind of the base block, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I did it, and then obviously I put the brick on top. So yeah, it looks pretty interesting, and then I also even changed out the, uh, the leaf color to not be, uh, not be the birch leaves, but, uh, no, sorry, the, the oak leaves, but instead be the birch leaves, um, which is quite interesting. So yeah, and, uh, because it's red, it really stands out, which I really like. It does exactly what I hoped, uh, hoped it would. Um, and yeah, insides, insides not too interesting. I even used an iron door. Um, uh, but yeah, insides not too interesting if I could even get inside. Um, it's pretty, pretty generic, pretty standard, um, just utilization of the space. Um, I do like this view here. Um, uh, if I do that, yeah, you can kind of see perfectly to the castle where there's this hole, but, uh, yeah, and then there's even some windows here. So, yeah, but, uh, obviously, you know, they're really cool houses to kind of look at all up close. It's all very hyper detailed, but the, uh, the high, the, the whole idea of this, uh, like the way I'm building here is, um, to sort of have this kind of idea and sort of copy paste it a bit across the land there and it's high density living with uh, you know high density detail and things like that so yeah I really hope you guys um, enjoy this kind of video and enjoyed like seeing how I went about these builds and you know how many I've done as well I feel like I've I've really pushed myself in how many um, how many of these little builds I can kind of pump out and they're all unique and interesting so yeah um, one last thing it's the end of the video um, I want to revisit the idea of adding um, your guys names on these signs so every single house except for that one has already got stuff on it uh, uh, every single house has a sign and that goes back to uh, these houses all the way over here They all have signs that haven't been written on um, I want to incorporate you guys in my world. So um, it's the end of the video So let's say if you comment Banana bread. Yeah, just comment banana bread and I'll, uh, I'll put your name on a sign in my world And uh, yeah, it'll just obviously be first come first serve and uh, yeah, I'll put your name on a sign So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one Laters